Hello everyone. So let us get started with Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis. This is Vishal here. So let me first get started with the Bank Nifty. So what I can do? Let me just share my screen. So this is the order flow analysis. So before I talk anything on order flow analysis, let me just bring in the candlestick chart here. So what I can do? Let me bring in the Bank Nifty. If you look at the Bank Nifty on daily time frame chart. Last four days, it is just trying to hit that 36,300 and it is getting failed continuously. Yesterday also, we thought it's going to be a breakout, but again, it did not sustain. Again, it almost 400 points, it has come down from 36,395 to again, it has go, uh, gone to that 36,000 level. Now, Yesterday it got bonds in the late noon session of about 100, 135 from 36,000 to 36, 135. But is that having any big buying volume is the question that I need to ask here. So what I can do, let me just bring in the order for analysis. So to see what's happening on the higher time frame, let me just bring in the higher time frame chart here. So last four days, if you ask me the 31st sorry not 31st the 5th of august from there it's just moving it's just consolidating in that a uh, range of uh, 36300 to 35751 now yesterday already that 36300 has been tagged now sellers will all uh, uh, put all the efforts to bring it towards again that 35751 it's just like a pendulum let us see whether it's going to come and tag this so today there might be a good opportunity on the short side to short the bank nifty futures any move towards again that 36250 can be a good opportunity for the selling let us see what is going to be the market's verdict today so any up move towards this 36 uh, 235 250 can be a good opportunity for selling let's see what can happen so in order to see what's the strength of sellers there, let me just bring in the order for analysis. So 5th of August, if I look at the cumulative delta here, it is minus 1.7 and next day it was a plus 44,000. Again, next day it is 55,000 and again here it is 33,000. If you ask me, sellers are just trying to hammer it, but again, they are also not getting any um, momentum or any breakout like on the downside and even the buyer are buyers are also not getting any moves so it's just stuck in a range but who is dominating here definitely at the higher side sellers are active and whenever it tags that 35 750 the sellers are just trying to active if i together if i take uh, every cumulative delta here in the last uh, four days somehow uh, it's just more or less flat so minus 1.74, if I add all these things, it will come somewhere around 1.25. Some shots are big there. So what I can see from this particular chart, maybe he will come and tag the lows of that particular uh, 4th of August, which is somewhere closer to 35,500. So let us see what he can do, which is almost 700 points away, 2.2 percentage away from the current market price. By any chance, if it breaks 36,000 today, Definitely, it is going to tag that 35,800, at least 200 points home is going to be there with 120 points risk. So, I will be planning to short Bank Nifty once it breaks that 36,000 for a target of 38,800 uh, only when there is a big sell order. For example, if you ask me, how many of you can see that 97,000, 1,25,000, 1.35, 2.39 lakh sell orders? Such orders, if there are any such big orders, definitely we can go ahead with one short trade opportunity. So market direction also tells the same thing. So it has tagged the upper band. Now it has to tag that lower band. Any bounce from here also can be good opportunity or any break below the previous day also can give us one good opportunity on the selling side. But those who are not experienced, I want you to stay away till this range takes out on closing basis on day time frame chart if you are not an expert i want you to stay if you are expert definitely you know how to manage the risk and you can take the trades with some minimal risk otherwise you can just 
stay away now when it comes to nifty futures also the same game is happening in this uh, particular uh, index also even the move was there yesterday above that uh, 16330 it went just only about 20 points up now again it is rejected last four days if you can see it's just looking like a doji candles so indecisiveness so what i can do here let me bring the order of analysis for this also so let us see who is dominating inside that range of 16,360 to uh, 16,200. Is it buyers or is it sellers? So if you ask me, 16,200 is a very important level. Yesterday, I mean to say that last two days back also we have seen that. So from 16,180, again, it bounced to that 16,360, 200 points. It has bounced to one percentage. Now, again, it is rejected from the higher side. So at the higher side definitely sellers are active like in bank nifty and at the lower band of this particular range definitely buyers are also active and if you can see the yesterday's lows it almost tagged that lows of 16200 the precise number is 16210 so who is much active if you look at the cumulative delta here so on the 5th of august let me consider from the 4th of august instead of uh, because it's moving almost uh, bank nifty it's four days and nifty it is almost five days it is just moving flat so let me consider those five days instead of only four days so here it is a three lakh cumulative delta next day it is a 3.73 and even if you look at this particular day all these two days the cumulative delta has been just washed away by just one day so it's zero now even if i look at this one minus 1.5 and yesterday's cumulative delta is plus so more or less uh, all together put it is just like plus one lakh cumulative delta is there in the last four days but if you ask me that's just getting weakened so what we can uh, do here by any chance if nifty futures breaks that 16200 again in today's session definitely we can short it for a target of closer to uh, 16,050. So 101.1% 1 .1 it can come down. That's what I'm expecting. Let us see what can happen. For that, we need to uh, wait for the big seller to come in. Then only we can take the trade. It is just not like that. It breaks and you go short. No, it's not going to happen like that. To take the Nifty down beyond that 16,150, there has to be a big seller then only i can sell otherwise just a candle goes below that i cannot sell it so that's a wrong way to trade let us wait for a big seller to come in because he is the one who can take the market down so that's what i have on nifty and bank nifty today let us meet at 9 am i have given you the link in the description box to trade live with me let's meet live at 